guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So today I am finally prepping my biggest fossil find. So this is the Megalitoceros that I actually found many many years ago. I found this during my undergraduate dissertation so I'm now like in the second year of my masters so a good three years ago now I'd say but I'll link down below the other videos when I had recently found it because it was one of it still to this day is one of my best finds but it's kind of just been sat on my fossil table waiting to be prepped because I've been a bit scared to prep it because it is a big one it's one of my best like discoveries and I was just a bit scared and now I'm like you know what I'm gonna prep it today it's a lovely day I've got a Dremel I'm not gonna get air tools for you know probably another year or so because I'm just traveling around too much so I thought instead of it just gathering dust I'm just gonna give it a go and hopefully it's robust enough not to die so um yeah I'm gonna show you a closer look now because I don't want to lift it up and show you because it's just that a little bit too heavy so here she is and she is correct because with ammonites the females were the larger specimens compared to the males which are actually quite a lot smaller so i do have some male examples as well but this one here is a female megalitoceros ammonite and i found this one along the jurassic coast and it's just spectacular like it's got a smooth shell on it and it's just absolutely beautiful and on the other side of it is a suture line which is actually how I discovered it if you watch some of the other videos I've done on this piece I do explain the discovery process but all I'm gonna do today is try and remove this middle bit here and I don't think there will be a middle to the ammonite usually with these specimens it kind of just finishes off but you never know until you kind of get it off so I'm just gonna be using the Dremel probably with the chisel tip and just very slowly chip away at this center here and hopefully finish the prep on this one before I start I just thought I'd put a little bit in about safety so if you're prepping fossils I always recommend to do it outside whether you're using a hammer and a chisel or you're using drills or air tools just because they do produce dust and it might not always be visible and you don't want to be inhaling that like in a confined space so either somewhere that's very well ventilated or outside and then I always like to wear a mask just to kind of give me an extra layer of protection because I don't want to be inhaling that and then eye protection and good footwear as well um, just because if these fall it is no joke like they will really break toes same with the tools and the hammers and things like that so good footwear and also hand protection if you would like to I kind of prefer without because I can get more detail that way and I've never had any issues using tools but they're the kind of go-to for if you're starting out with prep work make sure you have some safety equipment because you don't want to hurt yourself doing so but that being said let's get to it I 
So I'm gonna leave it there for today's video because this is taking longer than a day and the light is starting to go down and when you're doing kind of detailed work, you want that, you know, really bright daylight. And uh, my hand is obviously not used to the Dremel because I haven't used it for a few months. And so like trying to hold the Dremel for more than like two hours, my hand is just like, please stop because it is like vibrating. So do be careful when you're using them and just listen to your body when it is getting fatigued. But I will show you guys the progress now. I'm really happy with how it's going. Um, the matrix is coming away nicely. It's just extremely hard. So with a Dremel, it does take a long time because you're kind of flaking away layer by layer. You can't really go that deep into the rock. But um, no, I'm so happy with how it's looking. And I think, yeah, maybe a few more, you know, few hour sessions and I might, might be able to finish it. And then I have to make the decision, do I paraloid the shell or not? That's, uh, let me know what you guys think. So I'll show you guys now what it looks like. And let me know if you think just a small coat of paraloid might just finish it or whether to just leave it all natural. But um, that's obviously once I finish the center, which is gonna take a while. So I have, I have time to decide. <laughs> so she's definitely getting there. So the Dremel has taken away quite a lot of the matrix in the center, but there's still a lot right here. So I'm slowly chipping away at it and I'm still, there's no evidence that there is a center or isn't a center. So we're just gonna keep going and eventually it will all come away but that's the progress so far and then let me know what you think whether i should give it a coat of paraloid once it's finished or just leave it kind of in its natural form i'm kind of thinking maybe one very like low um, concentration of paraloid might just give it a tiny tiny bit of gloss but almost like a mattified gloss but let me know what you think but how beautiful i'm so ready for it to just be finished and on display but once I finish it, there's then the problem of making a stand for it because this is not a small fossil. This is humongous. And I quickly forgot to show you guys what the male comparison is like. So these are some male Lytoceros ammonites I found. So you can just see <laughs> the size difference. And here's another one inside a rock here. So they have a very similar shape where you can see that outer chamber is quite enlarged but just on a much smaller scale. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fossil Friday. Please like and subscribe if you did. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching the progress of this uh, Megalitoceros ammonite as I go through all the stages of its prep and its display as well. So I will be looking at getting like a custom stand for this once I've prepped it, probably using like maybe a blacksmith with a mixture of concrete because I think I want like a metal, almost like cage around it like a claw clip. I haven't quite decided yet, but if you guys know about custom stands for fossils, please drop me an email or a comment because I would definitely be interested to hear about it. But I hope you're all doing well. My Instagram's down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.